welcome to the ET Garage. It's Memorial uh, Day weekend, uh, 2022. I want to thank everyone who subscribed so far. If you haven't, go down there, subscribe, like, share, all that good stuff. But anyway, today's video is about a uh, repairing a headlight module. Uh, you can still get these new, I believe, from uh, one of the Corvette part suppliers. It might be Corvette Central or one of the others. Someone comment below if you know which one or leave a link. Uh, but uh, they're about, I think, about 160 bucks. Uh, I saw an article, and I'll leave a link to it somewhere, either probably down in the description box, uh, to how to repair these and what you need to repair it. Now, I put the part I needed to repair it. Uh, I couldn't find one available here in the U.S., you know, and I got it via eBay, uh, via China. So you'll, we'll have to order from China. It will take a little while to get here. They actually get here pretty quick considering they're coming from China. Now, one thing I notice about these uh, headlight modules is on my 90 Corvette. I'm not sure what year Soul used the same headlight module. Uh, if I find out, I'll post it up here. I think it might have been 89 or 88 through 96 used these style, and, there, and the other ones used early ones. I'm not sure, though. Like I said, if you know, comment in the section below and let others know. Uh, but anyway, if you look on the back here, and I hope you can see that, there's those stickers that says, Replace, do not repair, made in USA. Uh, I ignored that completely, and apparently other people have too. But uh, I'm going to set the uh, camera up over here on the my little workstation here, and then I'll uh, go over it briefly. I'm not going to go into the soldering, desoldering. Uh, I'm not very good at that. I advise watching... Uh, other YouTube videos on that subject or uh, whatever, or just talking to people. But uh, so I'm not going to go into the soldering, desoldering. I'm not very good at it. But uh, you can find plenty of videos on YouTube and other information out there on the web these days. So let me get the camera turned around. Okay. Here I'm over my little work table here. And uh, basically, all you need is some type of soldering iron, screwdriver. Uh, desoldering tools. I'm going to leave links to, uh, to the desoldering tools that I got here. They were cheap. E buy eBay and they work good. And uh, you're going to need these little uh, relays. I will also leave a link to them. Now, uh, the first time I did this, I screwed up. I ordered the wrong ones. I ordered 220 volt ones. But basically, they're identical, except uh, this coil set up for 220 volts and this coil set up for 12 volts. So, don't be a, a goofball like me and make sure you, when you click on uh, buy now on eBay, you uh, get the correct one. Uh, these do come from China. I couldn't find any here in the U.S. I would have bought them if I did. Uh, at least not online, I wasn't able to. So uh, anyway, I'm going to show you here why you need to replace, or at least from what my research shows, this is what goes wrong. And you can see this is the original one. And you can see where that wire burnt, burnt down the uh, inside there. And the wire burnt and lost its contact. And this is, apparently this wire is for the uh, driver's side left hand, uh, left hand uh, headlight for the pop-up headlights on a 90 Corvette. And uh, I mean, I imagine I could have popped this cover off and just repaired that wire but uh, there's probably something more going on. I, you, you know, this relay is probably 30 years old, so it's probably a good time to replace it. But anyway, all you got to do is take the screwdriver. Once you get your module off, there's just two 10 millimeter headed bolts that hold it on. And yes, it will say replace, do not repair. Stickers on the back. Uh, That's one of those things I you got to determine if you want to pay attention to that or not. Um, if you have another problem, like your headlight doors are uh, binding up or something like that, uh, you're just going to keep burning up these modules. So you, you need to take care of that problem if you're having that type of problem. But uh, here's the uh, new one soldered in. Here's my really bad soldering job. And uh, I'm not going to go into soldering. There's uh, better videos out there on showing how to do that. And you get these, you heat your solder, and uh, pop that sucker all on there. And press like that, and it sucks it right out. 
And then you just reset it and you keep doing it over and over and over again until you get all there out. And it comes with this little wick for getting some of the solder off. And it also helps to have compressed air. You don't need an air compressor. You can get one of those uh, air air uh, cans, aerosol air cans, like you use for dusting off your uh, keyboard and stuff on a computer and use that. Because once you get all that solder out of there, you still want to heat it up and blast it with air to get that last little bit. You know, at least that's what worked for me. Uh, if you do something stupid, like try probing it and end up blowing one of these fusible links... I believe that's what that F1 stands for. I don't know if you can see that. F1 would be Fusible Link 2, 1, and F2 would be Fusible Link 2. Like I said, I'm no electronics expert, but that's what they are. I ended up probing these and melting them. And all they are is solder, those Fusible Links. So I just put new solder in and it works. I took it out, tested it, and it worked. I'm not going to go out there in the car and show you that. It, you can just take my word for it. But that's about it. Uh... The soldering part, if you're not used to doing it, like I'm not used to, I'm good at soldering wires together when it comes to circuit boards. I just don't do it often, so I'm not very good at it. And uh, it's like anything, the, the more you do it, the better you can get. But this works. That's what's important. Once you put it back in here, of course, and put the cover on, you want to reseal that with silicone. You want this water tight. Water does get in that part of the... Uh, uh, underneath the hood of, the, of that part of the c4 corvette and uh, that's why they use weather pack connections under there but the cover it just goes pops in and the cover goes on and uh that's basically it you might have to play around with the orientation but hey okay. that's it a little silicone on there pop it back in you can see mine in my case it's missing all the uh Brass screw gloves, that's no big deal. I don't care about that. Oh, well, here's this word. Anyway, I want everybody to have a great day. And I know God bless. You're on a road. Sweet honey, let's take